the numbers are not yet known. My thing is that anyone who is retiring in 2022 should begin to get the pension and gratuity as per the law. Let's start there. And then you're back into um, the others who retired last year and the year before. You, know, you, you develop some criteria around which you're going to begin to pay these people. Retired banker Richard Duncan, who also served as an accountant general for Grenada, is suggesting that government pay public officers their pension as mandated by the Constitution. The question is, how do we generate cash flows to pay the IRS owed to pensioners? That's the question. But your debt to GDP ratio, for all intents and purposes, has already gone up. But no one has received a single cent. So my point is, generate the cash flows and start paying these people. Speaking on GBN's Beyond the Headlines Monday night, he said there are positives that can arise from this situation. Duncan suggests the government starts looking to the local financial institutions. The level of liquidity in the system right, is extremely high. So but high, hold on, so high that you would know with it that if you had a fixed deposit 12 years ago, you could have gotten 4 or 5 percent. Today you're getting point something of a percent, if at all. Sometimes it's zero. So I'm saying that given the liquidity in the system, the government has an opportunity. This problem has met the government at a very nice time when you take a historical view of it. And there's a chance to take a bold, transformative approach to the resolution. So the recent repurchase of Greenleck shares also came to play as a possible solution towards making good on civil servants' pension payments. But you also have another opportunity that when you pay these arrears out, you can, as government at the same time, put a large chunk of your Greenleck shares on the market. The money will come back to you. You have this asset here that you say belongs to the people. And then you have where people could sit at the dinner table with their grandchildren when they receive a dividend check and explain the connection between the light that they're able to study with, the current that the computer run with, and the dividend check that I get by virtue of owning these shares. So in other words, there's an opportunity for intergenerational transfer of wealth. Cherry and Blackburn Stephen, GBN News.